beautiful picture of me when I was, <laughs> hey, <laughs> how you doing? Hi, everybody. People told me recently that one of the things they think funny is about our show is it looks like they always just accidentally dropped in well, on our, true. and that's true. Because we sit here and talk and we never know when they're going to start back in the bank. Never, never do. Never. I'm Larry Bly. And I'm Laban Johnson. Mom, the cook, Jim. Yeah. So glad you're here. The mailbag's just filling up. We're just absolutely working the Postal Service to death. I know we are. But that's all right. It's good for them. Make them grow and be better people. All right. Letters from around the world. Hilda Wright wrote in and said, Love, uh, sure enjoy your cooking show. It's nice to see such fun and cooking too. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Hilda. We appreciate it. Well, this one says, I wrote before and asked for blah, 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 but have not received them. Maybe I forgot to send a SACE. Well, I'm enclosing one this time, and if possible, please send me all of them. Well, we are sending a burly man with a hernia to your house <laughs> right now with all nine years worth. No, I'm only kidding. We couldn't send them all, but we'll send what we can. Yeah. That's from William Sharp of Big Stone Gap, Virginia. Yeah, we'll be glad to send you one or two, but we can't send them all to you because it's just, we Those just Those real cheap. And this is from Robert Rose, who is a photographer, sent you a card. And oh, he said, the you. day I... you were at Tanglewood signing cookbooks, I bought one of your books. And while waiting, I took your photos. These photos are, are, are yours. And if you ever are in need of a photographer, call, <laughs> keep me in mind. Well, and so here's some pictures. Oh, show them. I want to see them. And, that camera right. over there wants to look Let's at them. Let's see. There's, the wobbly one there. <laughs> there's one of the two of us <laughs> signing autographs. Well, well, I love to do that. They get all nervous back in the back. And then here's individual shots. Well, Willard shots. Scott does this all the time uh, on NBC. What's the big deal? Here's uh, Oh, that's a good shot of my greasy hair. Uh-huh. Boy, I tell you, I look well, like we've I've been, been working, working on the radio day. all day. Well, we want to, here, there's yours. Here, not, help uh, you. Oh, well, it's yep, not greasy. So. It's just real shiny because it's just been washed. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it that looks sounds better good. than it does now. Well, thanks so much, Robert Rose, for sending us pictures of ourselves, which we love so you much. No, I never realized I had that extra chin or two. Under oh, there. well, a lot of people have been know, talking about it. This uh, is probably going to do a lot of good. I tell you, this guy takes good pictures. Yes, he does. Real good. $17 says on the back. Dear Laban and Larry, I am nine years old and I always watch your show. Can you send me at least 20 of your recipes? Yeah, here is an envelope. I hope it's the right big one. Uh, uh, your show is funny, and my sister watches your show, too, and my mom. I like Larry's cat apron. Well, I got a lot of them. Uh -huh. This is one of two or three cat aprons, because, see, I'm a cat person. But anyway, uh, I like when you test if noodles are done when you throw them on the cabinet. That makes me laugh. Will you send me your autographs? From Beth uh, Shepard. And Beth is from McClure. Virginia, and we will. It's a little somebody has written it down there, autograph. And Ella Brown Thank you. from Amherst, uh, Virginia, wrote in, said, "I watch a lot of cooking shows, but I enjoy and learn more from your show." P.S. And when those two boys sit down to eat, it makes me hungry. We love except, you, Ella. Thanks last so much. Last week in the exploding oh, soup. Well, anyway, sure that, made me that so has uh, a lot of comment has been made about that. Well, Bly, I think it's time for us to go over to the kitchen and cook up a, a mess of possum or something, okay? Mm, a mess yeah. of possum. We're doing cream soups today. Oh, cream man. soups. And uh, well, what it, is, is this? incidentally, this is him, our birthday boy. Happy birthday to little Larry, who is way too old for his own good today. I won't tell you how right. many, but anyway. I am a little too old for my own good. Yes, gift. you are. Yeah. All right, well, what are you doing? Oh. Uh, stand here. No, I'm doing some, uh, well, somebody's moved it. <laughs> I swear this ca crew came out and redid all my paperwork. <laughs> I knew what I was doing 40 minutes ago. Leek and potato soup. Oh. This is a leek. This is not an onion, although it is in the onion family. Uh -huh. This is the granddaddy of all onions, I believe. Should I show them a little bit about oh, cleaning sure, a leek, sure. or do you need to no, get started ahead. real soon? Well, let me tell you all about this, okay? Here's how you clean a, a leek. We'll need a startling overhead on this one because I have to show it to you. First half, leek is very big, like so. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna trim back to the green and just cut it off. To now, the green, to the green. Now you will notice that there's a lot of dirt and filth and corruption in there. You see that, all that dirt? So here's how you get around cleaning these things. Very, very important that you clean them just right. Take the other end also, 
and cut that off of there, all right? And then make a cut in this direction right here. Be careful, that's a tricky one. And all right, now what you'll be able to do is go back now and unfold this and put it under water and just run water through that and it'll get rid of all the little dirt and crusts. See, it's hidden all throughout underneath there. You can probably see that there, right there. But anyway, that's what you do and then you can chop it up any way you need to. What I have done is I have put on some nice chicken broth, chicken stock. I've got that boiling along here right now, and I put some of this in in advance so it would be done uh, by the end of the show because it's terrible to have to eat raw stuff on this program. Mm -hmm. And what we will do later on is we will take this handy little item, and we're just kind of kind of mash this lightly in there, and uh, this will be... Uh, we have uh, white four part, uh, a part of four leeks chopped, and I chopped them coarsely and put them in there, chopped them by hand, and four raw potatoes chopped, I'm going to put some more of those in there in a minute, and about one and a half pints of chicken stock and a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. Mm -hmm. So, and, and, and we have some parsley on hand because when we get finished here in a little bit, when we get the soup finished, of course, we'll just put a little bit of uh, garnish, a parsley garnish. Well, how wonderful. And so I'm going to go back there and wash these uh, in the sink, and that's about it for me for right now, and I'm also going to start uh, chopping some potatoes up. Okay. So back to later. Well, I've got in a large pot, you need a Come big in. one for this, uh, three tablespoons of oil, you should use margarine probably, and I'm putting into it two uh, whole onions. And you just start with this, and these have got to be sautéed until they are limber. They don't have to be brown, but they do need to be limber. Now, this is a, a soup that's a real hearty soup. So this is not a soup for a hot day. This is a soup for a cold day. Is it a laurel and hearty right, soup? Right, it's a laurel and... Oh, wow, 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 wow. All right. Well, anyway, now, <laughs> you, you need three one pound... Now, that's a pound of onions. That's two medium to large onions and three one pound cans of white navy beans. And so I've got these in it. Oh, gosh, Bly, we got these. This, we've got to get another can opener. This is so awful. We had some real nice ones last year, and I think I took them all home at the end of the season. But I, I, I tell you, it's a trade off because I left my good, uh, I had a, a real nice. Uh, oh, uh, no, you're not going to bring up that. <laughs> The rolling pin. Oh, I took her. I left my good rolling pin here, but it's all right. I've gotten another one. Well, with mm, this, you mm, need to mm. one can of beans. Mm. Wonderful. Gosh, needs to go into the blender, and you're going to put a can of water in here with it too. Now, Larry, I, I hope to show the proper technique <laughs> for using the blender. Yes, we've seen you use the proper te technique. Well, I have on numerous On the blender. Occasions. I remember that exploding cherry soup that you did one time that went all over everything. Well, what are you doing to those legumes? What? Legumes. Oh, I'm just opening them up. Now, two cans of these and the juice and everything else are going to go into our soup eventually. Hmm after our onions have gotten limbered up here. Well, I'm peeling you can some use, potatoes. This is a, a regional brand of soup, mm -hmm. or, or, of beans that we have around here. You can use any kind, doesn't make any difference. Oh, this can, I hate electric can openers, as you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, this, you don't get enough exercise anyway, and so if you can at least twist the thing and open your own can, I, Seems Always. to me like there'd be a lot less misery if you had one right now. Well, now I'm going to add some potatoes here while he's opening the can because we've all seen him open a can. Just take a little potato and start, you can do them fairly coarse chops. I'm going to make them real fine right now because we don't have an awful lot of time from now to the end of the show and I'm just slicing those right in there and putting them right in and that goes right in the stock mm. with the leeks are in there floating around, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of pepper. I'm doing these real thin so they'll get done. We're just going to mash them lightly right in the broth from whence they came and I'm going to add a little bit more to the broth in just a second. Oh! And that's all and now back to Laban who's still slaving over this. a can. A can. Okay. Are you all right? Yes, but I'm just aggravated. It just makes me so mad when our 
our tools, but that's the, the curse of a cheap thing. You know, we haven't talked about this for a long time, folks, but you know, you see on those high price shows I need your all, all of these uh, fine uh, cooking things. Uh, there's that one high price uh, cheap show. Uh, where, high price cheap oh, show. Oh, yeah, where you, they have all these really expensive ingredients and they've got tools that cost thousands of dollars and everything. Mm -hmm. You know, you can go to a flea market if you're just starting out and equip your kitchen for little or nothing as we did when we started nine years ago on this show. Uh, you don't have to have all kinds of real expensive things. And the can opener, I guess, is a good example. Now, as you saute these onions over medium heat here, they will begin to get limp. And now we're going to add the two cans of beans if they'll come out. Come out! It's like exercising demons out of the bean can. And, you know, if I had had a lot of time, I probably would have just soaked a couple of pounds of uh, white navy beans overnight, but you can use these canned ones and it works just fine. You'd have to cook everything a lot longer that way. Does mean you have to do a lot more banging. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Now you stir all of this up in here. And now I've got in the blender, I have one can of beans and one can of water so that they'll do it. If you have a food processor, you can just process the beans directly and the water uh, can go right into the soup. Mm. Well, Larry, I swear, I think since last week you have ruined this. <laughs> Blame it on me, Well, Johnson. you're the one that messed it up so bad. I didn't mess All up right, the now lid. let's see. Let oh, me go real slow boy. here. Well, hallelujah. Don't push your luck, Johnson. No, Johnson, don't do it. Well, no, I, they've got to be blended up real good. Well, that seems to be working along pretty good. Now, while he's doing, oh. See, he's now not that's doing the that proper anymore. technique. For those of you that care, and you pour this delicious bean milkshake right oh over my into your yuck into your soup. A bean milkshake. Mm. And what does that mean? Are you afraid of a vampire? <laughs> did you see that signal? We I just did. Got? We're getting some strange signals. This is in the what latest does that mean? signal. Halfway. Is that what that means? <laughs> that's a halfway, halfway point. That's that's the way they do things around here. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> all right, now, now this is all going to go uh, right along and, and looking tasty and heating up. And now we've got a one pound kielbasa, Polish sausage. Oh, remember, for remember heavens. Remember Abe Lincoln, four score <laughs> and seven <laughs> kielbasa right. ago. And this has got to be chunked and it'll take a little time. So, if, Bly, if you want to. Well, all I'm going to do at this point is I've added a little bit to my stock here because it was sort of boiled down a little bit because we were sitting around a little bit. And all you do with, uh, with your leek is just take it in your hand just like this and just sort of coarse chop it into this thing, sort of like this. As you can see, I'm not doing any chopping on the block today. <laughs> but anyway, that's going to go right <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad. I know. It's so dangerous these days. Mm -hmm. But put that right in there like that, you see, and we're just going to boil that right up, and hopefully it's all going to be done within 10 minutes. Most of it has been pre-boiled a little bit anyway, I'll be quite honest with you, because I stuck some stuff in there, and I've got this on high, and it's starting to, to boil, as you can see, just a little bit. And just to add a little bit of salt to taste, you don't need an awful lot because if you have a really good stock, it's probably got quite a bit of salt in it already. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, you usually sure. salt and pepper. I, I do pour on the pepper a little bit because I, like I like pepper, to be honest with you. I've always been partial to it. And that's about that. Now just stand around and wait for it to be ready. Right. How's your chopping coming, oh, Johnson? Fine. And as you chop this into chunks, I, I'm cutting the pieces into half and then into quarter and then into chunks. Mm -hmm. As you get the little chunks cut, oh. then you just add it. You don't have to skin it. Boy, this smells you good. Just, just drop this right on over into the soup where it will get very hot here in just a minute. Very hot from the pits of Hades. Let me turn this baby up a little bit. Uh-oh. There we go. 
Now, while he's finishing that up, maybe I'll we'll show you how, how these recipes come together just a little bit. Oh, really, this is, of course, unless you're not interested. No, in which I'm case, not. you can turn your face away from the television. Oh, all right. Otherwise, well, here's Al's Well, this is Al's soup. soup, and it came to us from our pal Al. Pal Al. Al Grappone in <laughs> Richmond, Virginia. Uh, three one-pound cans of uh, white beans. move away? Oh, he's been down there for over a year. Oh, I'm real sorry. Some friend me. you are. Two huh. tablespoons of margarine. <laughs> Two uh, uh, small good buddy of mine. to medium onions chopped, a can of water, and one pound of kielbasa. How's his wife? Just fine. Oh, I thought you were no, supposed no, to say I'm that. I'm going to smack no, no. you around. Anyway, oh, oh, leek and potato soup. Excuse me, I was so busy getting cues. White part of four leeks chopped up. You can, of course, chop them right in your hand there. Four raw potatoes chopped, and, and you can, depends on how much time you have as to how coarsely you chop them. If you have lots of time, lay you chop them coarsely. One and a half pints of chicken stock and a little salt and pepper to taste. This one's so easy that it's just almost impossible to believe that something. Mm -hmm. She forgot the spinach. Forgot what? The spinach. The spinach. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I. All right. Oh, well, I've got to put we, spinach in mine, but I'll tell you about yeah, that. Yeah, we'll in a tell you about that in a minute. Oh, I forgot about that. That's the fun part. Mm-hmm. But if this thing don't boil, it's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> no, it, it's getting there. Yeah, the spinach gets added at the last minute. We've done this recipe on the road, you yes, and I, on our many appearances. Up in Lynchburg recently, we did this recipe for a couple of hundred people. Right. And, mm -hmm. and they're all still alive and well and kick sure. and happy and good and nice. I'm just watching the stuff boil. Jerry and huh? May Mayola or whatever her name were there. Everybody was there. <laughs> uh -huh. But anyway. Oh, for heaven's sake. And now, the other side of Laban. Sort of reminds you of the circus, doesn't it? <laughs> Please. Now, this is one. But anyway. Hmm? <laughs> Just talking about Dumbo. Vengeance is mine, saith old Laban. <laughs> now, this is one Does pound it remind you of, of Dumbo? A freshly cooked, or freshly picked, <laughs> freshly cooked, freshly picked spinach. And it has been picked and washed perfectly. All right, it's real good. <laughs> I think and it's now make shook. You know spinach has got sand in it because spinach is real weak and insipid and the other vegetables kick sand up in it all the time. <laughs> but you, you have to cook your spinach. Insipid. Now, as soon as this big pot of stuff here boils, we're going to throw all of this raw spinach over into it. And it'll cook just for a minute or two and it will be done. Well, you know we're going to cauterize our mouths again at the end of the show because everything we got is mm -hmm. piping hot and boiling along. Well, maybe we need to bring out uh, the fabulous uh, Witch Miss Duke Witch Kitchen. and see what uh, her mail says for the day. Ooh, ooh, ooh that looks so, good. This is a pretty soup. Somebody you know, cue the witch. This would be a good recipe for a cold, wintry day. Mm -hmm. this, uh, this soup just smells so darn good. Oh. Here she is, right on cue, about five minutes All right, late. get cute with me, will you, you old witch? Uh, get out of here. Oh, it's on green paper. Oh. What does this mean? Dear guys, I love greens. Now that raw, is. Raw. That raw, is. that is. <laughs> I read. even wear them. Fig leaves aren't too tasty, but they do cover the subject. Could you two carnivores make salads next next week for us herbivores thanks and it's from herb slaw <laughs> <laughs> well herb we'll do the <laughs> i'll swear the best i don't we know can. where these letters come i from don't know sometimes. either but They're anyway real. yeah we'll do salads how's next it week. Uh, boiling along laban it's almost there uh-huh now you know i <laughs> it's gonna be wrong now this is a little secret ingredient i uh -oh. i ordinarily i'd use some some kind of liquid hot sauce you know down in it like Texas Pete or yeah. Tabasco, one of those yeah. things. But I'm going to just put a little bit of cayenne in here. That'll be enough. That'll do the trick. That's about an eighth of a teaspoon. Of cayenne pepper. Mm -hmm. You need, I think, just a little of that to zing it up a little bit. I'm going to chop a little parsley okay. for my garnish. You know how important garnishes are. Mm -hmm. You know anybody eats garnishes? I do. Sure, I, I like, do. I love garnishes. I think they're real good. I do. Uh, okay, now I'm going to start anyway. feeding my spinach in. Except I don't like endive too much. It's too big, heavy, hard, difficult to handle. 
Well, I don't believe I've ever seen endive as a garnish. Oh, I have. A lot of people oh. use endive as garnish. A lot of your cheaper restaurants oh, where no. I eat, <laughs> they can't afford parsley, so they use endive. Well, some of your cheap friends cook <laughs> big, heavy meals. Right? Well, the signifying to me. Uh -huh. Now, let me show them what to do. Oh, okay. oh you're doing that. Uh, you're yes. working that in there. I'm doing the best And while he's doing that, I'm going to do this. Take one of these. I see, Dar. I'm just one of these things. And just sort of mash this around a little bit right in there. Woo! You don't have to go to a lot of trouble. Don't get real fancy with it. You're just kind of mashing the potatoes up a little bit. All right? And that's all you do. I'm also going to cut this down. And you'll be amazed at how quickly the spinach will cook up mm -hmm. or down. It really will. It'll be ready. And you don't add that until the last possible yeah. minute. I'm going to put some of this in a bowl so all it'll right. cool okay. just a little bit here. But I'm still mashing this out a little bit. Burn ourselves into submission. No, we certainly don't. Oh, me. What an well, exciting I show know, this boy, has been. This is mm -hmm. hard to... Mm -hmm. I should have had my heat up higher. Should have had your feet up higher. My heat. My oh, heat. oh, 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 okay. Sure, sure. Oh, that is so pretty. Look at that. That is just gorgeous. Isn't that lovely? Mm -hmm. Lovely little presentation. Just take a little bit of garnish now. Mm -hmm. Throw on there. A little bit would do. That's too much. Well, is it going to be ready in three minutes? Yes, <laughs> it is. It's going to be ready in just uh -huh. a few seconds, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Well, these are real pretty. I am real pleased and with this, this soup. And this is a real thick soup because when you when you puree that one can of beans, that's what uh, all someone has brought out the happy birthday yes. stuff over here yet. It's just busting out all and over. Here, I, well, let me get out a few other things here that we'll need. I brought, uh, knowing how elderly you are, I brought the prune juice for you. And uh, here, you, Thank you here, very much. Bly, you might want some of these fine mixed nuts. <laughs> I swear to goodness. So uh, prune juice and mixed nuts. Now, why don't you get the glasses, Blast, so that we can enjoy the prune juice? Well, I just juices, sat down. And you can be kept regular here, because we know that you've been having some difficulty in it. I'll be back. Yeah, I heard uh, the other Larry, Larry number two, the manager around here, <laughs> how appropriate, say that that somebody that you were. And do we really want to drink this stuff? Juice. Oh, sure. I think it'd be just real good for you. Oh, how dreadful. And well, we don't have any spoons over here. I yeah, woo, 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 woo. <laughs> here, let me uh, hear the spoons and let me put a hot pad over here. Oh, here yes. Bowls. A little prune juice cocktail, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Oh, there you are. Yes, yes. Right, As things are getting wild and unwieldy here at the end of the program, it's getting difficult to keep up to Levin. He's moving me, in all me, directions. Me. He's crazy. He's wacky. I've got this He's... hot soup. Oh. Oh. And now, uh, Larry, here's to good friends. Thanks. Tonight will be something lively. <laughs> <laughs> and Larry, now I have uh, arranged for oh. w if uh, the crew will hand me. I, I have been really busy today. I'll bet you and, have. And uh, I just didn't have enough time to do a birthday cake for you. So <laughs> I just, I got the cake mix and you can microwave this and, and we'll, you know, you can light the candles on top. Oh, wait a minute, they've got the age wrong. I'm sorry, it should be like this. <laughs> I'll swear to goodness. I am not 54 years of age, nor am I 45. <laughs> oh, well. I can't believe this. Well, this is the nicest thing anyone's ever not done for me. Well, let's try the soup here right, and see how do we're it. doing here. Try the little uh, leek and potato. Woo! Oh, yes. Wait a minute. We're, mm. that go is ahead. A, Everybody was supposed to that, do Yeah. Right there. The, the, yes, it's, 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 uh, no, no. Uh, <laughs> oh, this leek and potato soup is good. And here, Didn't you think it was good? Oh, yeah. That is wonderful. That's a nice, almost clear soup. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. Mm. I'll be out of your way in a minute. <laughs> Sounded like he was blowing his horn. Of course, I know what this tastes like because I've had it before. Mm -hmm. mm, it's wonderful. Goodbye. Mm. And thank you for oh, coming yes. to my party. And happy birthday.